We're back with breaking news in our world lead. President Trump this afternoon saying he is prepared for the worst case scenario with Iran and claiming the United States is, quote, geared up. We are ready for the absolute worst, is what he said. We are ready for the absolute worst, and we're ready for sense, too. Ready for sense, too. As CNN's Barbara Starr is reporting from the Pentagon, the president is also now casting doubt on reaching any kind of possible compromise. Iranian state TV announcing it has captured 17 Iranian citizens accused of acting as CIA spies, even releasing photos of what they say are covert CIA officers who recruited the accused. CNN is blurring their identities. The CIA not commenting, but President Trump pushing back hard. I read a report today about uh, CIA. That's totally a false story. That's another lie. It's a religious country or religious leaders, but they lie a lot. And as tensions keep escalating with Iran, the commander in chief sounded downbeat about the prospects for diplomacy. Frankly, it's getting harder for me to want to make a deal with Iran. Let's see what happens with Iran. Iran is in an all-out information war involving America's closest ally, the UK. Releasing this seemingly staged video of the crew of the British flag tanker Stena Impero, which was seized by Iran Friday. The crew appearing nervous and forced to take part in the filming. Iran also releasing this dramatic video showing Iranian commandos roping down onto the deck of the tanker when it was seized. In London, the British Foreign Secretary announcing to Parliament you, uh, the military the is responding. It, it is with a heavy heart that we are announcing this increased international presence in the Gulf. Several U.S. cargo vessels are expected to transit through the Strait of Hormuz in the coming days. The Pentagon is now considering flying fighter jets overhead to make sure those American ships stay safe. And the president, who says he doesn't want war, still making a threat. And we are ready for the absolute worst, and we're ready for sense, too. But we are very geared up. And a real test of just how far the Iranians may be willing to go is what happens if the U.S. in the coming days decides to put the aircraft carrier Abraham Lincoln through the Strait of Hormuz and on into the Persian Gulf. Brianna? All right, Barbara Starr at the Pentagon, thank you. And joining me now to discuss this is former Defense Secretary under President Obama, Leon Panetta. He's also a former director of the CIA. Uh, Mr. Secretary, thank you so much for being with us. And will you just tell us, what is the absolute worst-case scenario with Iran, and is America actually ready to deal with it? We're, we're involved in a very dangerous game right now, uh, and both sides are poking at each other, uh, waiting to see whether the other side blinks. And the, the reality is neither side is going to blink. Uh, we're not going to get Iran to uh, suddenly change their ways, and the United States isn't going to lift sanctions or suddenly become a partner in the nuclear agreement again. So they're both poking at each other. And the problem is that the more these tensions increase, the greater the danger that some kind of miscalculation is going to take place. There's a lot of pressure uh, as a result of, I'm sure, a high level of alert that uh, is taking place in the Persian Gulf. And the higher that alert, the more the chances are that some kind of miscalculation will lead to some kind of military confront confrontation. I think that's, that's a reality. You have said the best way to handle the tensions with Iran is for leaders of both countries to sit down at a table together. Let's listen to what President Trump said about his approach today. I'm just going to sit back and wait. Let's see what happens. But I will say they are doing, they are doing very poorly as a country, and we'll see what happens. Do you think that is the approach he's actually taking, and what do you think will happen if this is the approach that he's married to? Well, yeah, the options are pretty clear at this point. Uh, uh, the first is war uh, with Iran and the United States. And neither side, I think, wants that to happen. Uh, the second is we continue the current stalemate of each side poking at the other, uh, trying to see if something 
uh, changes them. And that's not going to happen either. And there's a danger, as I said, of miscalculation and the possibility of war. I don't think either side wants that either. So there's only one alternative, whether they want to admit it or not. There's only one alternative, which is negotiations. Uh, and it just seems to me that the president suggested negotiating without any preconditions. I think that's a pretty good approach that Iran ought to seriously consider so that they can at least sit down and begin a dialogue, which is absolutely essential to trying to find some way out of this mess. All right, so that's how you read this, that he's saying, let's sit down without preconditions. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a good idea because, frankly, neither side is going to accept uh, the conditions that both sides are asking of the other. That's just not going to happen. So why not go ahead and negotiate without preconditions? Uh, and in addition to that, it just seems to me to make sense. And it's something that the United States has not been very good at recently, which is to build greater leverage by working with our allies. If we worked with Britain, with France, with Germany, with Russia, with China, to try to build that alliance so that we can engage in talks with Iran, very frankly, that will increase the leverage of the United States in those discussions. And that's what we should be doing. Iran claimed today that it captured 17 Iranians accused of spying for the CIA. President Trump says that's a lie. Uh, you're the former CIA director. What's your reaction? I, I, I think the president's probably uh, in the right place with that because, uh, you know, my, my sense is uh, these countries, uh, if they're going after spies, they don't new, you're usually announce to the world uh, the fact that they've gone after spies. Uh, to do it this way is basically part of the show that Iran is involved in. Uh, and so they've uh, obviously picked up uh, a group of people. Uh, I suspect uh, many of them uh, have no relationship to spying whatever. Uh, but they're going to they're announce that as a way to indicate that the U.S. is spying on them. Uh, I'm sure we are. But at the same time, I think what they have done today is basically just try to show the world that somehow uh, they're aware of these intelligence operations. I don't think there is any reality to what they announced today. And I think the president's correct that right now uh, what they've done does not really represent what's really happening on the ground. Secretary Panetta, thank you so much for being on the lead. Good, good to be with you.